welcome back friends so in this video we will be looking at how the data structure is organized and maintained inside mongodb database so for that we have a library called mongoose okay and it has some schema that will help us in like making a blueprint of the kind of data the data structure that we will be saving inside our mongodb database so what is mongoose first let's see that what is mongoose so mongoose is an object data modeling library that provides a higher level abstraction over mongodb and what it does it allows uh, like i said it allows a structure and how the data will behave inside that data database so what mongoose schema does is they like create a basic structure of how the data will be organized inside it and while declaring a mongoose schema we have like we have to keep in mind certain parameters like we have to define the schema so what it does like it defines what type of data is this like is it a string value a number a date a boolean etc it can be anything then after that we have a validation rule so it defines that what kind of things it will have what kind of will it be a unique value will it be, will it be a required value so when it will we declare something as unique then its value cannot be repeated once again otherwise the data will not get added to the database if we are like declaring it as required then we will have to provide this data otherwise this schema will so throw us some error and the data will not be getting appended without providing this fields so it can have a maximum or minimum length or anything then we have some default values so while declaring the schema we can like for any data we can give some default values that if this data is not provided then we will take this default value as the parameter then there are middlewares also that we can provide here before updating or saving the mongoose then comes the mongoose model so what it does it it these are responsible for creating reading updating and deleting documents that are present inside the mongodb database collection okay so this was a basic idea about these things so now let's start creating the models and schema so for doing this we will always declare a separate folder so it's a good approach to while coding to like separate this out into different folders like we will declare here a model and inside this we will do what we need so what kind of data will be making so we will making a user model okay let's use this user user dot model model dot js so this is just a naming convention that i follow you can like ignore this dot or you can give the hyphen or anything you can use okay so no issues with that i just like to keep it this way so that i can separate out the files the different files okay so now here what we are going to do we have already like in the last video we already installed mongoose and if you want to check which packages are in present inside your file they can you you can just uh, open this file package dot json and here in the dependencies you can see all the files that you have installed okay so you here you can see express i have installed mongoose i have installed node one i have installed then we will go here and here what we are going to do we will first import mongoose okay then require here we will do mongoose okay then we will name uh 
give a name to this schema like we can say user schema and what we are going to do is we will give new keyword here and then mongoose.schema and inside this we will open an object we will key, take it as an object and then we can assign the various values here first we will want to declare a key called name so what this will like taking will it be a what type of data it will be so we will say it will be a stranger then after that what we want it to be like required so this is a validation so we will declare it required otherwise this won't be appended okay sorry then what i can do i can pass some age as well type string it will be or i can give it a number okay then i will give it as required as well required is to true true then the next thing what you want i like i will add some company name here okay what it will be it will be like uh, type an object or array anything you can keep it as so i will keep it as an array okay inside this i will give the company name okay type will be like a string only then what happened here name is already there company name we will do company name okay mm -hmm. mm, then here we will do required is to true so it won't actually throw this error i think Mm -hmm. so what we were doing here wrong we will have to declare it as an object as well after declaring this array it will be an all uh, array of objects so name i declared then i can give the name of employer employer name okay i will give it the same you can pass it any value okay so i will keep it short now uh, the next thing what we can do is like some boolean value we can give so for some boolean value what we will be like married so here i can give type boolean okay and required we can give true okay and then uh, then number we have like date of request we can give or day date of making request we can give yeah date of request we can give it as like type type we can give us date okay we can also like date of birth will be fine type date okay then required is to true okay so these fields we will be getting from this so this is a simple schema okay i have created and declared the blueprints of the data that it will be storing now next what i am going to do is i'll create a model so while naming model we should i follow this convention of naming it with a capital letter user model okay so that schema and model can be separated then mongoose dot model i can give and here first we will have to give the name of the collection we want okay user we can say user at the date db or user you can say just 
then here in the next parameter you want a schema okay here you can see schema now user schema you can give here and then here we need to export in order to export we will use module.export and whatever thing we want to export we will be exporting user model from here so this is how we will organize this data here okay and we have organized it quite perfectly so inside the database this structure will be followed okay so we will end this video here okay see you in the next video